Hi, it's Steve from Woodland Power Products. Thanks for your recent purchase of the Cyclone Nut Rake. We think you're really going to enjoy using it and this short video will give you a few tips to make sure it performs perfectly. Now, whether you purchase the walk behind or tow behind model, the Cyclone Nut Rake will arrive in one box and will assemble in just a few minutes. We've done most of the assembly for you, so the final steps will go very quickly. When your Cyclone Nut Rake arrives, it will come with the pickup wheels ready to pick up smaller nuts that are about one inch in diameter, like acorns. But if you need to pick up larger nuts, like hickory or black walnuts, we've included spacer wheels, which you can easily install between the pickup wheels. So for nuts that are about an inch to an inch and a half in diameter, you'll insert one spacer wheel between each pickup wheel. And for nuts that are larger than an inch and a half in diameter, you'll insert two spacer wheels. Now, don't worry, the instructions on inserting the spacer wheels are found right in your owner's manual. Now try to do your nut collecting when the grass is at an average length and when it's not saturated from a recent rain. If you use the cyclone nut rake when the grass is very tall or too wet, the grass will tend to mat down under the pickup wheels, obstructing them, and that makes it harder for them to grab the nuts and the husks. Next, try to use the cyclone nut rake when the lawn is not totally covered with leaves or other debris. Again, this can cause those pickup wheels to be blinded and less effective. Now this does not mean the lawn needs to be spotless. It's okay if the cyclone nut rake picks up some leaves and small twigs with the nuts and husks. But please try to avoid picking up larger sticks because these can get stuck in the metal release tines causing damage. However, if you do get a stick caught in the release tines, don't worry. Simply stop and remove it. Oh, and and don't try to go backwards until it is removed. You should use the Cyclone Nut Rake at a comfortable walking speed for the walk behind model and a similar speed for the tow behind model. This will give you maximum effectiveness. Now when using the walk behind model, you'll want to keep the collection bin between four and eight inches off the ground. If you push down on the handles and create a steeper incline, the nuts won't be tossed accurately into the bin. Naturally, you don't have to worry about this with the tow behind model. Finally, it may be helpful to pass over some areas twice and from different directions. This will help to collect any nuts that were missed or those that were obstructed by indentations in your lawn. Thanks for watching this short video. We know you'll love your new Cyclone Nut Rake. And remember, we have an amazing customer service team here at Woodland Power Products. So if you need any help or if you have any questions, just give us a call at 888-531-7253.